assessment for that one? No, we just ran out of time today. Oh, they're very committed. Sort of the quality of their play and their, their ball control and their intensity they play with. Is that soon? Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, at half time, they, they, they've been on the front foot a fair bit. But we, uh, coming in at half time, we're all a bit knackered, I think, with their field position. Um, and they seem to be. Get some quick play the horse, but we, we held in the arm wrestle the, the first 40 minutes, which was which was pretty good to come out of the game when we got beaten. It, and it's disappointing. We, we fought right to the end, which I think is a, a pretty good positive. I mean, they, they had some, some great field position and um, they're on the front foot, which I suppose we could have turned it up, I suppose. Or, um, but we didn't, we didn't give up, I think. Mean. When positive signs played the to the last away game at least? Oh, we're, we're, we're beaten by a really good team here today. We're really good ourselves. It just happens, it's footy. You go for your next week, what you lose today, you pick up next week. But that's where we want to be when we're playing like we were today. We've been playing like that every week and we'll win more than we'll lose. I mean, plenty of talk about how your old club's playing. How do you think the way did you have been Well, if I listen to you guys, they were playing pretty poor, but I don't listen to you, so. Um, if you look at the quality of the games, they, they were putting out a lot of effort and you, you missed the mark for it, you know. It's, you, you're quick to criticise everybody that plays a couple of losing games. It's the quality that you lose, or, the, or how you lose, more important than whether you win or lose. And they were, they were trying their hearts at it. And it just wasn't coming off for them. They, you know, a bit better combinations going now. They're getting some confidence. And there's, um, yeah, you, as I said, as a coach, that's what I'm looking for. You can, you know, start, you know, realising things aren't doing so well on the ladder is just what type of commitment they're making and they were making plenty of them. Do you think Steve's been under too much pressure from the outside? Oh, pressure's part of what we, what we have to do, but I mean the team wasn't playing bad. So. so that's where the, first, the pressure's unfounded. Some, you know, you see today's game, someone's got to lose here today, unfortunately, and they even got, as you know, they've got an overtime rule, so we're destined to lose a game. So that's what the league want, someone to win and someone to lose every week and if you haven't worked that out. And so in that situation, you know, as I said, you can't ask for much more than both those teams to give you in a day. We walk away with no points, but we walk away with that all the time. You talked through what happened with Danny today. Did he wake up with the back? Yeah, he did actually. I don't know. We don't know where that come from. We have no idea actually. He doesn't know either. Maybe the bus trip down and train yesterday didn't have a problem. We had an ache or a pain. And I woke up this morning extremely stiff and as we've had before, but it was just the wrong day. Probably be right by tomorrow or Wednesday, I reckon. It's big ask then for Corbin at the back of your place and put play yesterday, really? Yeah, it was. As I said, if we thought Dean was in his outdoor, we would have brought the first player with us. But early in the season, we're trying to get all those guys in the match books in the meeting. And so we let Corbin play yesterday, and um, yeah, Danny was a big loss for us today, but that's the way it goes. Alright, season wise, Says in, but where do you think you stand at the moment? Are you sort of where you want to be, or I mean, behind or how far ahead? Yeah, I mean, I mean, today was a disappointing one. We're going into the bye, we'd have liked to have picked up today and then um, get into the next week and a couple of wins in the bye, I guess. But um, I suppose, like Wayne said, we, it's a big step from our last away game against Manly where um, we were a long way off the pace and you know, we had plenty of negatives from that game. I think today we. As I say, we stuck in the arm wrestle for the whole game, especially the first half. It was, you know, we were all pretty solid coming in, but uh, we just held in there. And we, we, didn't, we didn't give up right to the end, right to the last whistle. Are you finding it was a good Yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, I played with it before, but I started playing the, the whole first half, and the possession I had in the field possession as well, it was, you know, it was pretty tough, I suppose, the, past, the, the last 10, I guess, and that's where, you know, Becky would have been a good, good help. But, um, to work in progress, so forth. Disappointed with the result, as you said, but it would just be you, you've been a bit disjointed with the start of the season, you've got a couple of injuries and it might be able to get through a game and be here talking to us. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, look, I'm just confidence, I suppose, in your calf. I it's been just a little niggling injury for the past couple of weeks and uh, I suppose it's positive to get through the time I did and it didn't um, re-aggravate it. Well, good with your head. Good, good. 
Who is it, Kimberly? 